Bowling is our business, and our business has been a part of the American scene for more than a hundred years. For more than a century, we've helped make American recreation pay for those who have chosen it as their life work. It all got started back in 1845, when John M. Brunswick, a Cincinnati cabinet maker, decided that American recreation could not only be a sound investment, but also a career in which a man could take real pride. And right from the start, that pride in our products has guaranteed our steady growth to a position of unchallenged leadership. Today, Brunswick's products are known as the best there is in bowling, and rightfully so, for nothing but the highest quality materials go into their making. Every manufacturing process is performed with patient skill and care that ensures top quality and keeps the Brunswick name a byword for excellence wherever bowlers meet. In the making of our well-known pins, the choicest hard white maple is carefully selected, shaped and smoothed to exact specifications for the precision playing that bowlers have learned to count on. Pins are carefully weighed, inspected, screened, and designated king, queen, or duke. Next, they're painted and reinforced by Brunswick's infrared armorizing treatment to give them a dirt-resistant finish that's tough and durable. They get their titles and once again are inspected to ensure unsurpassed quality. Finally, the coronation, when the kingpins of bowling pins get their coveted crowns, red crowns that tell the bowling world they're tough. But even with the best there is in pins, bowling would be no fun and not nearly so successful if you had to use just any old ball. Brunswick sees to it that you don't. Brunswick's super accurate precision balanced mineralite ball is ground to split thousands roundness for true travel from fingertips to standing pins. A final polishing and inspection weighing promised perfect performance, better scores. But it would be short-sighted indeed to be content with doing nothing more than making top quality products. So Brunswick has built its lasting business, solidified its position of preeminence in the industry by casting its lot with that of the proprietor, by promoting his business, by furthering constantly the success of the man who plays host to the bowler. This familiar scene is duplicated daily in communities all over America and in many remote spots far beyond our shores. This business partnership between the Brunswick Balky Colander Company and the independent recreation businessman is based on mutual respect and cooperation that goes back many generations. We have seen our proprietor friends accept the opportunities and the responsibilities of the recreation business with thoroughness that has guaranteed them the high regard of their guests and patrons and the esteem of their communities. We too have had responsibilities to accept not only the responsibility of giving the business the finest bowling products that can be made, but also the responsibility of experimenting endlessly, of seeking tirelessly for new and better ways of turning out higher quality products and improvements that will produce more pleasure and profit from bowling. A very definite responsibility has been to see that no new product is turned over to our business partners until it has proven itself beyond a doubt. This is as true today as it was back in 1906, when the old wooden balls were replaced by Brunswick's familiar mineralite ball. Here was real progress, 
unhampered by balls that might have looked good but failed to hold up under continued use. Time has always meant money in the bowling operation, and our engineers have been working on the pin setting problem for years on end. And when we finally developed a mechanical device to aid the pin boy, a device that would help set up pins faster and prove beyond question that it would work, we offered it to the bowling business, but not before it was ready. And it was the same with B1. It took a lot more to develop this machine than appears on the surface. But when we said it's ready, we were sure it would work. More than 25 years ago, we had an automatic pin setting machine operating in the field for many months. And it was almost satisfactory, but not perfect. That's why we never released it to the industry. This machine took years to develop. And more years of work have gone into new ideas, new inventions. A few years ago, we began to see the daylight. And last year, we were so sure of ourselves, we promised to have our automatic pin setter ready for you this year. We are frank to admit, we haven't got it. Oh, we've got something to show you. Two machines, as a matter of fact. But we're going to be as honest with you as we've always been. They simply aren't ready. Much time and money has gone into the development of this machine, and it's really a wonder to watch. For example, it can tell the difference between a strike, a spare, or a gutter ball, and act accordingly. First, let's see what happens when a bowler rolls a strike. The balls drop into the pit and automatically engages an elevator, which returns the ball. The pin setting mechanism descends to a search position, finding no pins left standing, knows it as a strike and returns to the top position. During the operation, the alley has been swept of all dead wood. Meanwhile, the guard protects the mechanism from any wild ball that might be rolled. The machine deposits a new set of pins on the bed, the guard rises and the alley is ready for the next ball. So much for the strike. Now let's see what happens with a spare. The ball drops into the pit and is automatically returned. The mechanism descends, finds pins standing, picks them up, and holds them while the sweep clears away the dead wood. It then places them back in their exact position. The guard rises and the alley is ready for the second ball. Again, the ball engages the elevator. The guard descends to its safety position. The sweep travels to the end of the alley and the machine places a new set of pins for the next train. Suppose the pins are knocked out of position, off their spots, what happens? Let's see. The mechanism picks them up and allows the sweep to clear the alley of any dead wood and puts them back down right where they were. How about when a ball rolls into the gutter? The guard unit descends, the mechanism comes down, finds all pins standing, returns, and the alley is set for the next ball. There certainly weren't any bugs in that operation, and there haven't been for quite some time. But we're still not satisfied that under the load of constant use, it will always work so perfectly. That's why we are not offering it yet. Now let's take a look at our other machine. This machine is slightly different from the one we've just seen. Let's first watch a strike cycle. The red bar moves to its guard position and then sweeps the alley. The mechanism records a strike and sets 10 new pins. The alley is ready for the next frame. 
Now for a spare. The pin setting mechanism descends, finds pin standing. Picks them up while the sweep clears the alley. The pin setter then places the remaining wood back into position, rises, and the alley is ready for the second ball. The machine goes to work again, sweeps away all dead wood, and places a complete new set of pins for the next frame. Next, a gutter ball. The machine descends, discovers all pins are standing, immediately rises, and the game continues. This machine is also a time saver when only the seven or ten pin is hit. The machine knows there is no dead wood and rises as in the gutter cycle. From what we've seen, you might get the idea that Brunswick is ready to sell an automatic pin setter. But as we said before, we're still not satisfied. And until we are, until we feel beyond a shadow of a doubt that we have an automatic pin setting machine that will give constant trouble-free performance day in and day out, we're not going to make it available. We'd like to show you the intimate working details of these two machines so you could see just how they operate. But many new and ingenious ideas are involved, and we simply cannot take the chance of revealing too much until everything is fully protected. We think we're well on the way to achieving a goal which we've been seeking for 25 years. That's why we've wanted to let you in on the progress we've made. But we still can't make definite promises as to when we will have a perfect machine. A machine equal in quality to our complete line of equipment and supplies. An automatic pin setter that we consider as good a product as the Brunswick Red Crown pin and the Brunswick Mineralite ball. After 100 years of enviable success, we're not going to compromise with quality now and we're not going to ask anyone else to who makes bowling his business.